an estimated 7 to 10 million people around the world are struggling with Parkinson's disease. Amanda is a scientist who is determined to help, so she spends her time studying the key cell type linked to Parkinson's disease, midbrain dopaminergic neurons. Her work, however, is made difficult by factors that many researchers like her face on an ongoing basis. When Amanda goes into the lab, she has to rely on harvesting dopaminergic neurons from mice. Not only does this take a significant amount of time, but requires a costly quantity of mice to yield enough cells for her work. And even when she gets results from the mouse cells, this does not mean the same outcome will occur in human cells. In short, results are slow to obtain, sometimes difficult to replicate, and not always meaningful. At least that was the case until Amanda learned about iCell dopa neurons. These are fully functional, human, midbrain dopaminergic neurons made from induced pluripotent stem cells, or IPS cells. In other words, these neurons are biologically relevant. Furthermore, iCell dopa neurons are available in substantial quantities, enabling a level of reproducibility that cannot be achieved using mouse cells. Amanda quickly converted her lab to this human IPS cell model. No longer does she depend on large numbers of mice. One vial of iCell dopa neurons provides enough cells to produce reliable, translatable data. Plus, iCell dopa neurons are simple to use. Just thaw, plate and assay. Whenever an experiment needs to be scaled up, it's as easy as opening more vials. And if a study requires dopaminergic neurons with a specific human genetic profile, such as the A53T mutation, Amanda merely checks on availability. In addition, iCell dopa neurons simplify collaborations because colleagues can order their own cells to replicate studies. The efficiency at which findings are verified and replicated means Amanda and her collaborators are advancing Parkinson's discovery further and faster than ever before. To learn more, or to see how this technology can make a difference in your Parkinson's research, visit the Cellular Dynamics website.